12 Most Dangerous Cities in America Hi everyone, did you know that some cities in America are more dangerous than others? In this video, I will show you the 12 most dangerous cities in America and what makes them so unsafe. Now, before we get started, I just want to say that I'm not trying to scare anyone. Just because a city is on this list doesn't mean it's automatically off limits. It's just important to be aware of these things so that you can take extra precautions when traveling to those areas. So, without further ado, let's get into it. These are the 12 most dangerous cities in America. Number 12. Stockton, California It is the county seat of San Joaquin County in Central California. According to the FBI, Stockton is more dangerous than 95% of American cities. You might be surprised if you find out that it has 229% more violent crimes than the national average. And guess what? The most common crimes are property, theft, and assault. If you traveled here, be very careful with your belongings. But over the past year, it's good to know that crime has dropped by more than 20%. The city of Stockton has recently prioritized community outreach and crime reduction due to realizing the need for improvement. Number 11. Rockford, Illinois it is the third largest city in the state and the largest metropolitan area in the country. According to the website 24-7 Wall Street, Rockford's unemployment rate, 6.8%, is far above the state and the national average of 3.9%. Yes, it is a significant problem in the city. How does this relate to crime, though? Well, if more people are unemployed, that usually means more people are desperate. And when people are desperate, they sometimes turn to crime to make ends meet. Did you know that the majority of violent crimes in Rockford are aggravated assaults? This accounts for about three out of every four violent crimes in the city. It is definitely a place that you want to be careful of. Number 10. Kalamazoo, Michigan this city of just over 76,000 people is home to several colleges and universities, including Western Michigan University. But it is considered one of the most dangerous cities in America. For example, on December 5, 2019, there was an incident where Bronco liquor was robbed at gunpoint. This crime caught the attention of the students. The store attendant allegedly fired shots, and the suspect was later taken into custody by WMU public safety officers. Over the past few years, that particular location has experienced a few robberies. This has caused so much stress, anxiety, and fear for the people that live there. Students may even have PTSD as a result of the violence. So the students must use the campus shuttle service, be aware of their surroundings, report any suspicious activity, and know where the blue light emergency phones are located. Number 9. Columbia, South Carolina Behind its beauty, there is a lot of crime. The rates of violent and property crimes, such as aggravated assault and larceny, have increased in Columbia, South Carolina over the past few years. This is alarming to residents, as well as to people who are just visiting. So, what had to be done to reduce crime? The Crime Prevention Unit makes sure the needs of the community are met by launching initiatives like robbery prevention programs that ensure citizens are aware of information that will be needed if they become victims of a crime and can help in the reporting and, ultimately, the capture of those responsible. So, as a resident or a visitor to Columbia, it's our duty to be extra vigilant about protecting ourselves and our property. Number 8. Tulsa, Oklahoma it is one of the most dangerous cities in the United States, with 591 violent crimes reported per 100,000 residents. The local homicide rate of 9.3 murders per 100,000 people is also among the highest in American metro areas and significantly higher than the national rate of 6.5 murders per 100,000 people. In the metro area, violent crime increased sharply in 2020. Some local officials blame the COVID-19 pandemic for the region's high and rising crime rates. This is because the pandemic has put a strain on social services and the economy, leading to increased crime. Number 7. Corpus Christi, Texas with 738 violent crimes reported for every 100,000 people, Corpus Christi, Texas is still one of the most dangerous in the nation. In addition, the city reported that the number of homicides increased by 22.9% in 2020. It is a cause for concern for the residents. 
So what's being done to reduce crime in Corpus Christi? Law enforcement is hiring more officers and applying for federal grants to reduce crime. Local police officers participate in community outreach activities to strengthen ties with city residents. Number 6. Chattanooga, Tennessee In this city, guns are used in a lot of violence. Guns are a common part of the violence in and around the city. As shootings in the city have continued to rise through 2021, Chattanooga's mayor called the scourge of gun violence an epidemic. You know what? Poverty and a lack of opportunity are some underlying causes of gun violence. The poverty rate in Chattanooga is 12.7%, which is only marginally higher than the 12.3 national average. In fact, last June 2022, three people were killed and at least 14 others were hurt after gunfire broke out at a nightclub. Some victims were hit by stray bullets, while others were hit by speeding cars. Two of the three facilities were caused by gunshot wounds and the third resulted from the victim being struck by a vehicle. Investigators think multiple shooters used a variety of weapons during the incident. Authorities believe it was a single incident in which one or more people were the targets even though no arrests have been made and the shooting's motivation is still unknown. Number 5. Little Rock, Arkansas Are you aware that Little Rock's crime rate is among the highest in the nation? Because of this, it is considered a very unsafe place. The metro area of Little Rock, North Little Rock, and Conway, Arkansas has a violent crime rate of 939 per 100,000 people in 2021, which is higher than the vast majority of the U.S. Increases in homicide and aggravated assault cases were the main causes of the increase. This shouldn't happen where people are just trying to live. Gladly, they created a comprehensive plan to address these issues. The plan includes an increased police budget and signing bonuses for new officers, increased police visibility, increased surveillance, targeted policing, and expanded social services are just a few of the latest tactics being used by law enforcement. Number 4. Bakersfield, California like other cities, Bakersfield saw an increase in crime. Homicides increased by 38.1% and cases of aggravated assault rose by 20.8%. As a result, the overall violent crime rate increased by 11.5% each year. Aside from these, the study found that many areas still lack the best infrastructure for pedestrian safety. For instance, if any exist, crosswalks are frequently placed too far apart to be useful or don't give some adults enough time to cross safely. Wide turning lanes on many streets enable cars to make right turns through crosswalks at high speed, and wide lanes themselves encourage high speeds. Number 3. Anchorage, Alaska it is the third most dangerous metro area in the country despite a 1.9% annual decline in violent crime. In 2020, 3,576 violent crimes were reported in Anchorage, which is 1,171 violent crimes for every 100,000 residents, almost three times the national average. According to a police spokesperson, homicides in the metro area typically involve domestic disputes and, increasingly, drugs. Number 2. Albuquerque, New Mexico With 117 murders occurring inside the city limits in 2021, Albuquerque has broken its previous annual homicide record. That's really sad, right? A lack of consequences for repeat offenders is one of the reasons Albuquerque still struggles with crime. That was according to city officials and the families of many victims. Additionally, there is a lot of poverty, the education system is rated poorly, and wages are low. It's not surprising that there is a significant increase in crime, with auto theft and burglary being major issues throughout the city. Number 1. Memphis, Tennessee It is the most dangerous city in the United States. Can you imagine? The metro area reported more than 18,000 violent crimes in 2020 alone. That's 1,359 for every 100,000 residents. No wonder it's the number one most dangerous city. What's more, Memphis experienced a 38% increase in homicides in 2020. It has the second highest homicide rate of any American metro area with 24.2 per 100,000 residents. It simply shows that the city is struggling to keep its residents 
residents safe. In addition, more homicides were reported in the city so far in 2021 than during the same period the year before. In this case, hundreds more police officers are required to carry out their plans to reduce criminal violence in the city. Conclusion that's it, the 12 most dangerous cities in America. It's alarming that some shootings and homicides have occurred in these places. We hope that the situation will improve soon and that these cities will be much safer for everyone who lives there. So, what do you think? Are you surprised by any of the cities on this list? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.